Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. And today we are making a really, really cute badge reel. So I like this a lot. It is, of course, a heart. And I used a mold on this. This is what the mold looks like. I got it from AliExpress. You can get them on Amazon. I've seen them there. If they, um, if I can find it easily, I'll attach it. But this is really adorable. Of course, I use my Cricut to do my decal to make my RN and super cute. Now for this little center here, I just put glitter with some resin. I like to use UV resin when I do this, just a tiny little bit. And I like that because I can put it underneath and I don't have to worry about it dripping. However, the UV resin doesn't make it as shiny as epoxy does. Epoxy definitely makes it a little bit more shiny than UV resin. But this really turned out adorable and it makes a super, super cute badge reel. So here we go again, so you can see it. Then of course, here is my, this badge reel came from the Dollar Tree. Well, used to be a dollar, now it's $1.25, but you get three in a pack. So they used to, it used to make them about 33 cents. I think it makes them now like 41 or something like that. So super cute, not bad. And then I like, you know, just adding this. You could add beads, you know, whatever it is that you want. But this turned out really cute. If you'd like to see me putting it together, stay tuned and we'll make the badge reel. And I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye. This is just a paint pen. And I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work. We're going to try it and see. So I feel like because this is raised, I've never used this mold before, but I feel like because it's raised, um, like there will be space inside. So I'm hoping that this at least sort of like outlines it a little bit for me. So it's easy for me to go in and once I pull it up, like do the inside. I have epoxy mixed up. Of course I used my epoxy mixer as I always do. All right, so I'm using Dorothy. I need to get on and um, answer some comments. I've been so busy, like I honestly have not had a day off from work. So I've been doing this stuff like before and after work. So I'm sorry. I really am very sorry. So this is 10 cc's. Now this heart I did get from AliExpress. However, I have seen it on Amazon. So I know that it is there.
and on AliExpress. It was under, it was um, anatomical heart mold. 10 cc's is perfect for this. It was a good guess. I've gotten to where I can guess pretty good these days. All right, so we're going to um, let that sit. Just give it a spritz. So this is denatured alcohol. So it's alcohol greater than 90%. And you can, you know, of course you can use heat, but you can also spray the greater than 90% alcohol on your piece to get rid of any bubbles. Usually when I use my epoxy, you know, mixer, I don't get a lot of bubbles, you know, but the weather's not great. So that will cause them. All right, so this is nice and dry, sparkly. Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that turned out much better than I expected. There's a little piece here I want to get off. I don't see my whirly gag. Okay, well, that turned out really good. And that paint did actually show up nicely. Huh. Wow, that's really, that's really nice. Can you see, are you able to see? So that paint worked really well on the inside of it. Now, this is a little bit of like a crevice in here. So I could like leave it like this. So like this is absolutely perfect or if I wanted, I could, you know, try and go in and fill in even more and then put some epoxy over the top. My pen is pretty small. So I do think that it gives it even more by going in and filling it out. So I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry completely and then I'm gonna go in and put epoxy over the top of it, kind of dome it and fill in the crevices here with epoxy. All right, so I'm just gonna put this, put it on this little cup. It makes it easier and gives it more um, room for drying. And I used my epoxy mixer to mix up my epoxy and it is my two part epoxy uh, pro marine and a lot of epoxy tends to get on the epoxy stick here so always if you're using the epoxy mixer then make sure that you get it off the stick i myself just really 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 like the epoxy mixer because oh, 
it just really mixes the epoxy so good. And I generally just don't have bubbles. Unless it's a little bit cool out, I don't have bubbles. And I don't have to do either alcohol or heat after. So I'm just gonna cover my little, all my pieces here. So make sure I take it to the ends so that it's nice and even. This is going to be so cute. I think I'm going to make several of these. And there it is. So we will let it dry and then we'll come back.